Hello everyone, we are Gert and Niluka. Welcome to our channel. In March 2022, we embarked on a new adventure by purchasing a semi off grid farm in central Portugal. We are now in the process of transforming this land into a beautiful homestead where we can live a more sustainable and healthier life. Join us on our journey as we leave behind our old ways and learn how to live off the land. Our farm in Val de Prazeers is not just a place for us, but also a place for you. We are excited to have you along for the ride. So sit back, relax and enjoy today's video. Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to build strong and sturdy farm gates for your fields. As you can see behind me. I will be building two different size gates. One is 250 by 120 and the other one is 160 by 120. Um, I use wood from the local wood yard at Caesar for, my, for people around here, they know him. I will show you. I will show you him in the video. Uh, the wood is 15 centimeters high and two and a half centimeters thick. The wood we use is from Douglas. It's from the Douglas fir here in Portugal. It's uh, it's fresh made at the wood yard. It's really nice to see it fresh made. It's not like food, but <laughs> almost the same. Yeah. About the materials of the farm gate, uh, uh, the wood I already told, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty thick. Uh, we use a steel mesh and we use bolts uh, to get everything together. I didn't find a nice lever yet, because here in Portugal they are really hard to find. But for now I made this, it works, it opens up the gate. As you can see, I have the bolts in, a cross plank, and hinges on this side. It was the first one I built. I need to build five in total. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit hit, hit and miss on the first try, but uh, yeah, it's pretty okay. I made w only one small mistake. I will tell you later about that. But uh, if you guys want to build a sturdy farm gate, this is really the way to do it. I think I paid about the thing about 100 euros a gate. I think 80 to 100 euros a gate. The hinges were very expensive. At the bricomache for one you pay nine euros, and for this one you pay nine euros too. It's, it's really crazy. But yeah, I couldn't find them anywhere else. I know uh, I've been everywhere around here and I couldn't find them. <laughs> DIY closing. <laughs> yeah, the reason we do this all is uh, is because these uh, these small fellas here are really good at uh, at escaping and biting in my leg. But uh, they escaped this week, and uh, we had to uh, we had to find them again. They were like 800 meters away from home. All the Portuguese people were laughing at me because I was driving on my blue tractor around to find them. And you look, I was running all around to find them. Biggie escape. Let's see. One, two, there's none of me. There. They were all the way by the soccer field, which is quite uh, far away from home. Someone said, no. They stay close to their home. Well, apparently not when the gate is open. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm walking with my bucket of food and they are again not following me. Uh, so, 
and we don't want that uh, because uh, here in Portugal if your pigs go away and somebody is hungry they will end up on a toe in the air and they will kill them and they will eat them. It's, uh, it's very normal practice here so uh, just keep your animals inside your land or else yeah it's really bad I don't like it but yeah it works like that here. Come here. <laughs> yeah, back on our own land. Let's go home. Yeah, so it's important to have a sturdy fence uh, because if they are small, the pigs uh, they won't go. But if they get a little bit bigger, yeah, they will move this fence. And you see we use electric fencing, uh, to be sure. I hear a click at the moment, that means uh, the electricity is leaking. I don't know if you can hear it, but here the electric fence is too close to the steel. That shouldn't be happening. So I have to put something in here, I think, because else uh, you will unload the battery and then it will be empty very quickly. I have to check this again later on. But yeah, as you can see, the first field, I already put the electric fencing in and they stay on this side for now. Because uh, yeah, the extra field is needed, because if you look at the first field here, it's totally cleared. There's no green at all. There's growing some new, uh, some new patches. So if we leave this field alone for a while, it might regrow. So there's some. And as you can see, they shit a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't shit that much. <laughs> My God. But yeah, you can see they eat everything. And they just like it. Yeah. yeah. You just like greens. <laughs> I'm trying to give you more information in the videos. And uh, yeah. I guess if you want to build a farm gate, you want to know the details. Uh, so if I forget something or you have a question, please ask. I will always answer your questions. You can even call me if you have my number, but I won't give you. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you have a question, just ask, man. I would love to help you in any way. If you live around here and you need help with the gate, just ask me and I'll probably come help you. I don't really have a workbench yet. Would be handy for this. I'll probably make one in the future, maybe. Uh, the first thing we do is try to get a good angle on it. Then we check. It's all right, it's all right. We get the nail gun. And we deal with it. That's one. Uh, it's a bit hard. <laughs>
that's the first frame. Now we make the vertical. Uh, the easiest way to do this. Just put the corner here. And put the other corner on this side. And then you can make a mark. Now you know it's a point here. So that will be your angle. Okay, recheck it. Make sure uh, it's correct. Still okay here. Uh, we use a circular saw for this. I don't know if my battery is, uh, is enough. That's the first one. Full working guy, I'll be better. <laughs> the wood is still a bit wet. The wood is still a bit wet, so uh, it's a bit harder to cut through. Do the same on the other side. Getting old, guys. Oh, I'm not as young as anymore. Uh, it's not perfect. It's okay here. Yeah? That's about one millimeter. But yeah, it's okay. Here it's a little bit more though. But already has a shape. Let me turn it around. Now we'll get the studio well over next.
Thank you for watching. Please support our channel and subscribe. Did you like the video? Please press the thumbs up. If you want notifications, press the bell icon. And most important, make a comment. We love it.